Hi, I'm Dr. Adam Fields. I'm a chiropractor. I'm honored to have Tim Sawyer, physical therapist here. He worked with Simons and Travell and is actually published in the Trigger Point Manual. He's ready to help your shoulder today with some Trigger Point therapy. Go for it, Tim. Hey guys, how you going? Um, everyone has shoulder pain or has had shoulder pain. The first most important muscle to get is a very difficult one called the subscapularis. It's in the armpit. I'll show you how to do it. You get the theracane up in the armpit and we'll have Adam do it. You go deep in the armpit and then you tilt the theracane slightly forward and push back. In the armpit. In the back. armpit, back. Oh yeah, And once you is. find that pain, that could refer into the shoulder, sometimes down the arm. You hold these spots for about 60 seconds. When you're holding for 60 seconds, you breathe in gently through the nose and gently out through the lips. Again, in through the nose, out through the lips. Usually about three revolutions of nose breathing and that should be about 60 seconds. And when you reduce the pressure, you gently release. Mm, nice, that was a good one, okay. The next one is the pec minor, an another muscle that lies deep in the chest. It doesn't insert into the humerus, the shoulder, it just inserts into the scapula. And you find it with the theracane right in about this area right here, as Adam's showing you. And you could put pressure on this area. This is a very important muscle because the nerves from the neck come through the scalenes under the scapular area underneath the pec minor and down the arm. So if this muscle becomes tight, it can not only cause shoulder pain, but it can cause weakness in the arm. Mm, that feels good. Gently push. put pressure on there. I'm putting some hard pressure. Is that okay or that might be tough on the nerves? We talk sometimes. about gentle pressure or we, we, want, we want you to greet the pain. Yeah, so just greet the pain. If you think of pain on a scale of zero to 10, 10 being severe, we want you to be at around a three to five initially. Mm -hmm. As you do this again, when you watch the video again to review, then you could go up to maybe a seven, but let's start with just greeting the pain. You know that pec minor is an accessory muscle of inhalation, so when, you, when it gets spasm, actually a deep breath becomes more difficult. And so this can actually help reactivate the muscle, can't it? Absolutely. And then when you're finished with this one, always remember to decrease the pressure gently. The third one is most interesting because it creates a lot of shoulder pain and weakness, and it could create pain right into the top of the shoulder. It's called the infraspinatus, and it lies back along this back of the scapula and you put pressure back in here and you could be anywhere along this area anywhere along this area to get it so if you turn this way towards me this is more the rhomboids so you want to be back out here right in this area it's a big bulky area you could draw a little triangle right there and you could find trigger points here and here and here slowly look around again holding that pressure now Gently breathing in through your nose and out through your lips. You know, it's interesting with the breath, how you told me that trigger points respond to stress. So if you're under a lot of stress, the electric charge in the trigger point goes up. So when you get it, you don't want to go, I'm getting this, right? You want to just let it Right, this is not a no pain, no gain situation. Just very gentle. The breathing exercises help calm down our sympathetic arousal or our sympathetic nervous system, a fancy word for stress. So once we've done the infraspinatus, we want to find the teres minor and you just gently drop it down into this little crevice right there. Oh yeah. And these also create a lot of shoulder pain and you could feel sometimes referral down the arm. These muscles can create some weakness in the arm as well. And again, you breathe in through the nose, gently out through the lips. Beautiful. Yeah, the typical three reasons for shoulder pain, right? But yet, normally, if people don't have the tendonitis, the frozen shoulder... Or the bursitis. Right, they might have trigger points. Correct. I've seen lots and lots of so-called bursitis patients or frozen shoulder patients that just have trigger points in these particular areas that had always been missed. And so it's good for you to work on them you can start to see some relief right away. 
Beautiful. As you release that one, the next one is a muscle that really is a muscle of the neck. So if you turn around, the scalene muscle lies right in this area here. And it's very important, turn sideways this way, so, and you want to be in the front of the upper trap, right there. You don't want to be too close to the neck because that's where the carotid artery is. Stay and you want to be just the on the side. There's three scalenes, anterior, middle, and posterior. And between the anterior and middle is where the nerve roots come down to supply the arm. But these trigger points here can refer pain in the front of the shoulder, the back of the shoulder, and down the shoulder, and even some up the neck. So it's really important to take it very gentle with this muscle because it's near a nerve. Is it good to move the head a little bit while you're doing it? If you're going to move the head while you're stretching this, you could gently move up and away just to get a gentle stretch. And in the next video, we're going to go over a bunch of stretches for these muscles as well. Remembering to always greet the pain. Stay within your pain zone because you don't want to guard against the pain. That's the worst thing you could do to trigger points. Don't bust the door down. That's right. And release the scalene. And another muscle that is kind of not specifically associated with shoulder pain, but it creates a lot of tension in the back, is the rhomboid. And that is right in here. And so the theracane can work here all the way down. There's two ways to hold the theracane. One, you can hold it up here, and one down here to pull. And I find sometimes by just holding down here with my hands, I could have a lot of force and I could reach. And as I get that rhomboid, I could curl my shoulder forward and just sink that in oh, and let that so pressure good. release and remember to breathe. Breathing right into it. Nice and slow. Why if, do the rhomboids get so tight? It seems like everybody has tight rhomboids. Well, the rhomboids are a very important postural muscle, but when you're sitting, I would say a great percentage of our patients sit at a computer or they're on their phone on Twitter or TikTok or Instagram, and it's all this forward motion kind of thing. So that pulls our shoulders forward and our head forward. That makes our rhomboids and our traps work harder to try to pull you up. So trigger points develop in these muscles, and then it affects the whole performance of the shoulder. Just another cog in the wheel. Exactly. And the next one, really important, we're just going to talk about the upper trapezius at this point. And it's right on the top here. And this muscle can refer either up the neck or can refer also down into the shoulder. And just push. Pushing slowly into the upper trap and hold gently. When you watch the next video on the stretches, you'll really start to get the essence of doing these, and then they work really well together. You'll run through the trigger points first, and then you'll do the stretch video next, and it'll be a great little morning workout for you. I realize we're only doing one shoulder because we're hoping you only have one side that's giving, that talks to you. Yeah, and then the supraspinatus, if you move this quite a ways out along that upper trap, a little bit further, come out further here, Right there is where the supraspinatus hangs out. And it's a little deeper. Yeah, so it's right in there. And then if you stand up and gently stretch that upper trap, you can get a nice stretch on the trap. And again, the supraspinatus stretch is very specific, and we'll do that later. Beautiful. And the last one is a very important one, and it's the deltoid. And the deltoid, we could use our fingers. If you just hold the theracane down, the deltoid has three parts, anterior, middle, and, or posterior, middle, and anterior. So if we reach back, you could gently strum the deltoid. And if there's tenderness there, you will find it for sure. And you have the option to, of strumming this muscle for about 20 to 30 seconds, or you could just apply pressure release like we did with the Theracane for 60 seconds. Remembering whether you're strumming or holding pressure, you always want to breathe in through your nose, out through your lips. Three or four times usually equals about a minute. Breathe in. Yeah, with your out. lung capacity. 
Yeah, if you're a runner or a biker or a swimmer, your lung capacity may be a little bigger. Then if you release and move to the middle deltoid, you could find trigger points here. You can go all the way from the top of that bone all the way down kind of mid deltoid. Strum around. And if you don't find trigger points, just move on to the next spot. You may not have trigger points in all of these locations. Um, I'm feeling fine here. How about you? I'm feeling a little tenderness. Yeah, so find that tenderness, strum it nice and slow. Always remember to stay within that greeting the pain process so you uh, don't you, flare yourself up. It's uh, really important. Right. And then you release and go to the anterior deltoid here in the front. You want to just strum and briefly look across that muscle. This group of eight muscles can really create some shoulder relief for you. Um, so take your time. After doing these releases, you could apply heat. Trigger points generally like heat rather than cold. So generally a hot pad or a nice warm shower or jacuzzi after you do your trigger point work is recommended. Beautiful. Thanks so much, Tim. Appreciate Absolutely. it. Absolutely. Here's to your shoulders.